My name is Bill Braybosch. It's my pleasure to introduce Vic Fidelli, a lifelong entrepreneur, successful business person, author, and philanthropist, serving the Ontario government as Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, and also chair of the cabinet. His business experience has led his firm, Fidelity Corporation, to be ranked 34th in the top 50 best places to work in Canada in 1989. It also served him well when he was elected to two terms as mayor of North Bay from 2003 to 2010. And as mayor, Vic focused on fiscal prudence and economic development, restoring hope and solvency to the city of North Bay. In 2011, Vic was elected to the Ontario Legislature and is now serving his third term as MPP for Nipissing. In 2018, the PC caucus unanimously elected him to serve as interim leader of the official opposition. Vic served 10 terms on the board of the North Bay District Chamber of Commerce, served as a director with Global Vision, and has served on many agencies, boards and commissions, often as the chair. He is married to local humor writer, Patty, and is always seen in one of his trademark yellow ties. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to join Premier Ford and cabinet colleagues, Minister Rickford and Minister Romano here at the Federation of Ontario Municipalities 2021 AGM and conference. As a government, we are taking a Team Ontario approach to unleashing opportunities in the North. It's a true collaboration among the various ministries to focus our efforts on how we can accelerate meaningful growth and unlock potential. We're working together with our colleagues at the Ministry of Energy, Northern Development and Mines to build Ontario's first ever critical minerals strategy. We're teaming up to increase competitiveness in the global market, create jobs and opportunities in the mining sector and transition to a low carbon economy here at home and abroad. As we look to establish Ontario as a global leader in electric vehicle production, our Northern communities will play a vital part in the supply chain and development of critical minerals through our critical mineral strategy. This will strengthen our robust approach to Ontario's auto sector, where we're making significant strides in electric mobility. Our recent budget announced the Ontario Vehicle Innovation Network, or OVEN for short. It's a $56.4 million commitment over the next four years. OVEN builds off the best elements of the Ontario Autonomous Vehicle Innovation Network, which is led by the Ontario Centre of Innovation and expands the mandate to include electric vehicle technology. AVEN, that's OVEN's predecessor, has done a tremendous job in building partnerships between auto tech startups and established industry players while spurring R&D and providing demonstration grounds. Moving forward, OVEN together with Critical Mineral Strategy is reimagining the next great era of Ontario's auto industry from raw materials here in the North to finished products right across Ontario. We're not stopping there. Through our new and improved Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation, NOHFC is targeting existing and emerging markets, supporting more projects in rural, small communities, addressing the skilled labor shortage, and making it easier for people and businesses to apply. By offering new programs and simplifying funding delivery to communities in the North, we're making sure Northern Ontario has the support the talent and the infrastructure necessary for meaningful economic growth. We're also working to connect our communities as part of our government's 2021 budget. We committed $5 million to support the detailed planning for the return of passenger rail service between North Bay, Toronto, Timmins and Cochrane. By building a safe and modern transportation network, we will galvanize growth and spur economic development for our Northern communities by increasing workforce mobility and giving employers and employees increased flexibility for employment. Throughout the pandemic, we have faced supply chain disruptions, sectoral impacts, and global market instability. 
this has had a devastating impact on our businesses, our families, and our communities across the North. In order to overcome these unprecedented challenges, we must come together, work together, and use our collective strength. As Premier Ford calls it, that's the Ontario spirit. By harnessing the endless possibilities in the North, let's show them that we'll emerge stronger than ever before. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the conference. My name is Rob Keane. I'm the CEO of Forest Ontario. I'm a registered professional forester, uh, practicing for about 40 years now. Forest Ontario is a not-for-profit charity. Our focus and mission is to ensure healthy landscapes, healthy forests for the future. And we do that through the support and promotion of tree planting, uh, forestry education, and awareness. Our forests in general, they really do enhance our livelihood. They produce oxygen, they sequester carbon dioxide, they filter rainwater, they certainly purify the air. Certainly the forest products that come from the forests are huge to our, to our forest industry here in Ontario. You know, just going for walks through the forest is so reinvigorating to your own psyche, to your mental health and all those things. We are part of the forest as Canadians and I think we really need to work towards ensuring that we do have those healthy forests for our future.